everyone, welcome back to Nurse Catherine here. Welcome back to another educational video. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to place your electrodes on your patient for a 12 lead EKG or also known as a 12 lead ECG. This is the primary tool that we used in the emergency room to determine if a patient was having an acute myocardial infarction, also known as a heart attack, we would look to see if it was a STEMI or non-STEMI. STEMI meaning ST elevation MI. MI meaning myocardial infarction, AKA a heart attack with ST elevation. To see this ST elevation, we performed a 12 lead ECG. A lot of nursing students find this very difficult to learn in nursing school and aren't quite sure where to put all the stickers on the patient body. So that's what we are reviewing in this video, exactly where to place those electrodes that you're not throwing off your EKG results or getting a lot of artifact and just not getting a good picture to determine what is going on with your patient. So I'm going to flip my screen over to a skeleton that I had pulled up on a Word document and we are going to use this skeleton to show you exactly where and how to count those intercostal spaces so you can see exactly where these electrodes need to go. And before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so really, let's get started. All right, so here we have this skeleton I am going to be using to show you where to put your electrodes at. Remember, for a 12 lead ECG or EKG, however you want to say it, there are only 10 electrodes. Remember, 10 electrodes for a 12 lead and think of a lead as a perspective. So first we are going to start with our limb leads. There are four limb leads that you need for a 12 lead EKG. In total, there are 10 electrodes that you are placing on your patient. So we are going to start with the arms first. When you are applying these on your patient, it will say right arm, left arm, right leg, and left leg. The tip I have for you guys is make sure you're placing this in the same position on the arm from opposite arm to opposite arm. If the patient has an amputation, say their leg was amputated and you wanted to put these down here and then you're like, oh no, this leg's amputated over here. Bring this lead back up here. That actually can throw off the results for the 12 lead picture that you will be printing out. So here are your four limb leads. Next, let's move on to the chest leads. And this is where it can get a little tricky for some people. Okay, so with the chest leads, you have to make sure you know anatomical position and how to count ribs. So that's why I picked this skeleton so you can see the ribs exactly. And if you are unsure of how to feel that, just practice on yourself. Start up here at your clavicle and you can feel down and feel your ribs. And that's how you can practice for your actual patients. So V1, which will have the name on it when you are placing it, you are going to put in the fourth intercostal space. So that's, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. So you're going to place that on the fourth intercostal space on the right side of the patient. Remember your heart sits naturally a little bit more to the left rather than the right. So think your heart is a bit more on the left, so you're really going to be placing most of these electrodes on the left side of the body. V2 is pretty simple to remember because that's the fourth intercostal space on the left side. Next, we're gonna do V4 instead of V3. And that is because that sits at the fifth intercostal space on the mid clavicular line. So here's your clavicle up here. Now let's go middle of that and draw that right down to the mid clavicular line. Then I am going to go back and place V3 because that goes halfway between V2 
and V4. So as you see, there is a slight downward slope here. Next, you're going to come over to the anterior, anterior, remember, meaning front, axillary line, which is your armpit here. So scope out where the patient's armpit is at, and that is where this one is going to go. The four, five, and six are all in line with each other. Now, V6 is going to go in the mid axillary line. When you have this on an actual patient, it really kind of is going underneath where their arm would rest on their body. So remember, this is V1, this is V2, this is V3, 4, 5, and 6 is over here. So the numbers just go straight across the chest. You have your right arm lead, you have your left arm lead, and then you come down here to your right leg lead and your left leg lead. 10 electrodes total. And that is it guys, that is where these electrodes need to be placed on your patient. Another quick tip I have for you when you are placing the electrodes at the hospital I came from, the electrode sticker was a square with a little bit of a rounded edge on it. It wasn't like a telly box kind of electrode where you snap it in to the actual wiring cable. So when you are doing this EKG, make sure all the rounded parts of that electrode are facing towards your EKG machine. That'll help you a lot so your electrodes aren't falling all over the place or coming undone. Also make sure to read your packaging instructions before placing these electrodes on because these electrodes can fall right off if this person has lotion their body or if they have been sweaty, anything like that, or if they're wet, make sure they have some clean, dry skin and a non-hairy arm, leg, or chest that you are placing this electrode on because all of those can give you a lot of artifact and a poor picture quality. All right, but that is really it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can get notified of more videos coming out like this every single day, currently Monday through Friday. All right, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.